Today was probably the best day I have ever had in my whole entire life. And now everybody to the dance floor. Take a look through the peephole, yo, everybody's getting geek, bro. Stop the hate and let them leaks know that we turn the club into a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Hey guys, y'all know what it is, and if you don't, you're crazy. So today, I took a Discovery flight, and I've got to say, today was probably the best day I've ever had in my whole entire life. It was so fun, the view was amazing. We went over a, an amusement park, Bush Gardens. I got to see the roller coasters while I was flying. Like, I got to fly a lot of the way, fly the actual plane a lot of the way. So that was really, really fun. So today I'm going to walk you guys through a little bit of the basics and what to expect during your discovery flight. Here we go. Okay, so first and foremost, you go to the airport, you drive, whoever whoever is driving you, it doesn't really matter. So you go there, you go in, you check with them real quick. They said, are you so-and-so? You said, yes, it is. Yes, yes, I am. And... They're gonna hook you up with a flight instructor. My instructor was named Chase, and he was literally the best. Like, I guess I'll probably, I'm gonna look up to him like a father figure if I continue taking lessons or something. Um, so he is going to take you into a room, gonna talk with you a little bit, go through a little bit of the plane dynamics a little bit, and kind of like layer, like draw some pictures of the plane. I'm a very hands-on learner, obviously, as you can tell. I needed a little bit of um, hands-on learning, of course, is what you would call it. And he was very, very good, like, with my autism and all that. So, once you go through the classroom proportion of that, it'll only take maybe about three, four, or five minutes. Then you're going to go out, check the plane a little bit, um... Like, make sure that they have enough oil, fuel, all of that. So, once we get in the plane, you, the instructor will be most likely on the right side. You'll be on the left side. And which is, I'm pretty, I think it's the, co, I think it's the pilot seat, which is on the left side. And the co-pilot seat is on the right. But you can fly either way, you, whichever seat you're in. I flew a Cessna 172. It, and it was so fun. Like that's for I've known about this kind of plane since gosh, I was ten years old. It's been my dream. And so once we get in the plane, you're kinda you're either you or your instructor. I let my instructor do it so he could show me. He he starts the plane up, get some pull some levers and stuff, trying to get the plane in the go motion. So then you're not good so it, it may seem really weird. But the rudder of the plane, like the rudders are actually what you use, which is the little pedals on the plane. So you might have to adjust your seat no matter how short or tall you are. Then you push the pedals until you're in the air. You push them on the runway so that the yellow line is near your shoulder. That's what, at least how I was taught. Um, and then... You continue like pushing the pedals, which is which is called the rudders, I believe. I'm pretty sure they're what they call the rudders. I may be mistaking, but that's what I remember. Um, then most likely you're gonna be going onto the runway. You don't use the yoke at all until you're in the air. So once you lift off, like once you press the pedals, go onto the runway, take off, your instructor most likely will do the takeoffs for you. And the landings for you um and you just lift it up he lifted it up lift up the yoke put it this way and that's how you tilt the plane now we went into a bit of a circular motion he's gonna show teach you a little bit of basics your headset's gonna be on he's going to be talking to you through your headset just a little fyi and he has a little bit of a checklist to go through so then he is going to be basically showing you around the area if there's a river, lakes, any of that. There was a lot of houses. It's crazy because I live in Virginia and there's not, and this is usually what I found in Florida, not really Virginia, but there was a lot of houses with pools in the backyard, like pool, this one through it. I'm just like, 
I, that was like that would be really really cool for me to do um i like to for me to have in my backyard as a pool i could just on a hot summer's day i can just like get one from after a workout or something i can just jump in the pool like that would be nice but that's not my goal right now being a pilot is my ultimate is my ultimate short time goal so and then once you're in the air, he's gonna show you a little bit of like the basics. And then he's gonna let you do a little bit of, a, he or she is gonna let you do a little bit of the flying. Um, you gotta like have the yoke and then like some like kind of shift it a little bit, kind of. How do I explain it? It's kind of like, and then sometimes you have to use the rudders in the plane. So, then once you take a little bit of a turn, he'll let you do full control by yourself, which is really fun for me. So then the landing proportion. You're, and then of course you're probably going to be asking your instructor to take pictures of you. Nine out of 10 times likely your instructor will take pictures of you. So that's nothing to worry about. You're good on that one. Um, then you land the, the instructor lands the plane, then you, then he does that pretty much all of that and then parks the plane pretty much. Then you get out, you, you might want to take some, you might want to get some more pictures about the plane and more like that. Then you go inside, people are going to like ask you, how did it go? Did you have fun? That's only if people are down like on the runway or in the little area beside the runway. There shouldn't be people in the runway because, yeah, no, there's there's most likely not going to be anybody in the runway because, or on the runway while, after you've landed. Because, you know, that's the place for planes, not people. So, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have, like, any questions, make sure to comment down below. I know this was probably not a very detailed video. This is not really like, I this is pretty much my first how to expect dot, 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 dot. Um, people sometimes ask, you know, what do you wear to a discovery flight? If it's cold outside, you should probably wear a hoodie and sweatpants or leggings or jeans. And if it's hot outside, I would recommend like wearing maybe a loose, loose leaf t-shirt and a pair of shorts or a pair of not like a pair of light pants. And definitely I would recommend, I uh, don't think that it's a good idea for you to be wearing open toed shoes because, you know, pushing the pedals, all of that, it's not very convenient to, to be wearing open toed shoes. Closed toed shoes are the best bet. I would not ever fly in open toed shoes, so any more questions you have, I'm going to link my Instagram, link my TikToks. I have a couple accounts on both. I'm going to um, put the comments open. Make sure to leave any questions if you have any. So pray for me that I'm going to be a pilot within the next couple of years. Thank you. Bye. Have fun.